Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Not many hip hop artists were prepared for the formidable force that would be Curtis 50 Cent Jackson following his mainstream breakthrough in the early 2000s. However, according to Sean Jay-Z Carter's longtime engineer, young guru, the Dan Rockefeller boss was well aware of the talented kid from South Side Jamaica, Queens, and even reportedly tried to warn others. Fifth recently addressed those claims on Instagram, where she shared a clip of Guru retelling the story. He captioned the post, I love you and as too, before adding, I just need somebody to compete with. It makes me find a way. Jay know I will always find a way. Aforementioned during a recent appearance on Matt Hoffa's My Expert Opinion podcast, Guru recalled her warning. Many artists at the time to be cautious of the get rich or die trying MC. There's a point where Jay walks in the studio and it just so happened that everybody was in the studio I think we were working on. The blueprint too. Guru recalled and Jay walked in the studio. He said it before. But I'm telling you how impactful it was. He walked in the studio and he was like, yo, this Jude 50, you all gonna have to deal with him in the next couple months. He said it to the whole crew. You have to deal with him. The industry veteran later praised the in the club rapper, noting how Fifth was one of the most incredible hook writers. He added, this dude said, I know you don't love me because you ain't the same when Jay-Z's around. I said, bleak, that's a hook. How did we not say that? This is the bleak hook. How did not, how did we not say that? I'm looking like, yo, this dude is too good. I love Fifth, but Jay acknowledged it earlier. He was like, you all gonna have to deal with this dude. He's coming. Hoof was not far off on his early assessment of Fifth either. His debut studio album, Get Rich or Die Trying, debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, selling over 872,000 copies in its First week, singles such as In The Club and 21 Questions shot to number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Thanks for listening and please don't forget to subscribe my channel.